What's going on, boys and girls? We're going to do a really quick recipe today. We're going to do some fried chicken. Well, I got to say fried chicken like that when I do say it. Um, but we're going to do some gluten-free fried chicken. Now, you can substitute regular flour for the flour that I'm using. We're just doing a gluten-free one because it's the type of flour that my wife can eat, and she's eating kind of special right now. But don't think you have to use it gluten-free. Now, if you are eating gluten-free, then try it, you know. I really think the regular flour coats the food a little bit differently than, than the gluten-free. And I think it comes out with better fried chicken. So you can use this with your regular fried chicken recipes. Now, this is going to be good as well, too. But I just think I think the flour sticks on the chicken better with with um, regular fried chicken. So here we go. All righty. So, you know, we're going to start off with some chicken legs here. You can use whatever pieces of chicken you want to use. You could even use the, um, you know, the thigh, whatever. Maybe not the breast. We're going to have some cornstarch. Some This is uh, Bob's Red Mill Gluten-Free Baking Flour 1 to 1. Himalayan salt, white pepper, onion powder, paprika, garlic powder, and dill weed. Now, if you want to add a little bit of a kick to it, get you some cayenne pepper. Or you know my old time favorite, guys. I would only just use this stuff right here. The Tony Satchery. That, that would be all I would use. But again, we're, we're not going to fix it this way. We're going to do it this way. So let's put everything together. So the first thing you want to do is just make sure all your chicken is dry. And all I did is I took a paper towel and I just took each individual piece and just kind of wiped it off. So that they, you know, the more moisture you have on it, the more it's going to splatter. Now, guys, we're going to eyeball some of this right here. But basically, you're going to use about two cups of flour. That's probably a little bit more than two cups. About one cup of the cornstarch, and I know this hadn't been opened yet because it was a fresh, it was a fresh one. About one cup of that. And again, I'm eyeballing it. And see, cornstarch is actually gluten free as well, too. Of course, you know you got to have your oil heating up, so make sure you have the oil heating up. I'm using um, just some canola oil. I'm going to put some salt in there. That's about a tablespoon full. I'm going to put some um, white pepper. It's about a teaspoon full. I'm going to add you some garlic powder here. Is that garlic? That's onion powder. Onion powder. That, I don't know how much that was, but that was a lot. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. Some paprika. That was about two tablespoons full. Now, you can use more or less than this, guys, but it's not going to mess it up. Garlic powder. It's about a tablespoon full there. Now, the, the next thing is controversial because apparently I like I like um, dill weed. A lot of folks don't like it, so but I like it. So I'm going to use some dill weed in there. And we're going to give it a mix. Give it a nice little mix here. All right, then we're going to just put it in a bag. Now, I've got all these little fancy gadgets and stuff. We're just going to put this in a little plastic bag. I was looking for my paper bags, guys. And we'll put about six pieces in here. And we're just going to shake and bag this. What's how many is that? It's four, five. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I can't count tonight. One, two, yeah, six. There's only four over here. Okay. So we only got ten pieces. I'm just going to shake, 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 shake. Make sure everything is nice and distributed evenly. Okay. Gonna do that. And then we'll do that to the rest of the chicken, too. And see, it has a nice little coat on it. We're just going to lay those over here on the side here. And we'll come right back. All right. So we'll do three, five pieces at a time. So, And you don't want it to, you don't want to overcrowd it. Remember that Miss Daisy um, show, Drive Miss Daisy. You're going to burn that chicken. You don't want to overcrowd it. All right, we're going to cook that. Usually about 12, 10 to 12 minutes, guys. 
Alrighty, go ahead and remove this. It's been about 11 minutes or so. You want the temperature to be about 165, guys. I just checked these. These are about 172. And see, again, it looks good, but with flour, flour would have made it a lot more crispier looking. This is going to taste good. Don't get me wrong. It's going to taste really, really good. Let's do the rest of them. Now, something else that I always do, too, is I'll take some of this. This is just a mixture of the same thing we put up there, but I'll put a little bit more on it just to give it a little bit of that extra flavor there. All righty, guys, and there you have it. Fresh fried chicken. That little last batch stayed in there. It stayed in there the same amount of time, but I guess the oil was a little bit hotter, but they're a little bit darker. So there you go. All right, so we're going to give it a little bit of taste. Nice and done. Everybody always wants to know, is it done? Does that look pink to y'all guys? Don't look pink, right? I'm trying to get it in the light where it, so some people will say, it's pink. It ain't done. It's done, doggone it. If you want to add you some hot sauce to it, that'll even make it more delicious. Really good piece of chicken, y'all. Again, it's not like your flour fried chicken, but it is good fried chicken. Try the recipe either using flour or gluten-free, you'll like it regardless. Peace.